County Public Library, Worcester Branch in the Adult Services Department, and I'm here today to show you how to make a no-bake Oreo cheesecake. You need a few ingredients. It takes Oreos, of course, and this takes about 300 gram package of Oreos. You need white chocolate chips. You need cream cheese and powdered sugar and heavy whipping cream. And you want to make sure you get the heavy cream, not the light cream, because you need that to make the recipe fluff and turn out all right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine our half a cup of white chocolate chips. And we're going to put them in a bowl here. And we're going to combine that with a quarter cup of the heavy cream. And then we're going to microwave it. And we want this to melt, but we don't want it to scorch. So we have to do it in small increments. I'm going to do like 30 second increments. seconds was almost enough but we need to put it in for a little bit more so I think I'll give it about 15 more okay so our chocolate chips and cream are all melted together we're gonna put that aside for a few minutes And we're gonna take three eight ounce packets of cream cheese and put them in something that it's safe to use a, a uh, electric beater with. So we're gonna use that and we're going to beat it until smooth. Okay, so I've got my cream cheese pretty smooth. So our next step is to add powdered sugar. And we're going to add one and a half cups of powdered sugar to the mix. Okay, so we've got our powdered sugar in. And next we're going to spoon in our mixture of the white chocolate chips and the heavy cream. We're going to add that to the bowl. And then we're going to whip it all together. Okay, now that we've got that whipped together, we're going to add the rest of our whipped cream, our heavy whipping cream, which is one cup's worth. And I'm going to pour that in. 
I'm gonna beat it on low till it's incorporated with the cream cheese, and then I'm gonna beat it for three to four minutes until it gets nice and thick. Okay, it is all blended and thickened up. The next thing you're gonna do is take your Oreos and you wanna put them in a baggie and crush them. Um, leave out about five or six to put on the top to make it look pretty, but um, crush up the rest. And I just used a uh, rolling pin and crushed them in the bag. So now you're going to take your crushed Oreos and you're going to mix them in with your cheesecake mix and just kind of stir them all together. You want to get it kind of even so that your pies has equal Oreos mixed in. And then once you're done doing that, I've got an Oreo already made crust here, and I'm going to spoon the mix into the crust. Now once we get this done, we do have to refrigerate it. You wanna refrigerate it for at least four to five hours before you eat it because it will set up then in the refrigerator to a nice cheesecake consistency. Okay, there we go. That's about all we can fit in there. So we're gonna take our last thing Oreos here and there are six in this package. And I'm just going to place them around the cheesecake. Just kind of push them in. And just kind of make it look pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna take some cling wrap and we're gonna loosely cover it up. And then again, it goes in the refrigerator for about five hours. And that's all you have it. It's a nice, quick to make treat, especially as the weather warms up. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.